What's up YouTube? It's your boy Shemo back at it again with another fragrance review. Guys, in this channel we talk about fragrances, lifestyle and how to use the art of fragrances in attracting your mate. And as I always say, there are many reasons why we wear fragrances. However, two of those reasons are one, we want to get compliment and two, we want to attract the opposite sex. So, if you do like fragrance reviews and unboxing of fragrances and also giveaway, then consider subscribing to this channel. If it is your first time visiting this channel as well and you do take something of interest from my videos, then consider subscribing to the channel as well because it does help the channel out a lot and don't forget, hit that notification bell and put it on all so that whenever I upload a video, it goes straight to your phone and you can come and join the Shemo fragrance family. Today I have a heavy heater for you. This fragrance is from the house of Mansara. And as you guys know, I am recently getting to love this fragrance house. Now this one here, I have been testing it for a while and I must tell you, it is a wonderful performing fragrance. So stick around and let's go and break this fragrance down and I tell you how the fragrance smell and if that fragrance or if this fragrance is still relevant to be worn in 2022. So stick around. Welcome back to the channel guys. As I stated before, this is your boy Shemo and on this channel we talk about fragrances, lifestyle and how to use the art of fragrances in attracting your mate. The fragrance I have for you today is a 2017 release. This one is a woodsy, spicy fragrance from the house of Mansara. Mansara is a niche house and their fragrances are very affordable. And this is one of the niche house of fragrances where you can get it at a very reasonable price. So, for the quality of the juice and for the money that you're paying, this house is worth checking out. Very, very good fragrance house. This one is epic. Now, the fragrance I have for you today is this one, Red Tobacco. Now, as the name suggests, guys, this is a tobacco fragrance. On the front of the box, you have the name Mansara Red Tobacco, and this is the Eau de Parfum concentration, 120 milliliter size bottle. So, as you know, most of the Mansara's fragrances, they come in 120 milliliter bottles. So you do get an additional 20 milliliter for a fraction of a price. And that is amazing considering that these fragrances are niche fragrance. Niche fragrance really mean higher quality ingredients and it should last longer than normal fragrances. And also it should be more expensive. But as I told you before, Mansara fragrances, they're very affordable and they are niche fragrances. So guys, you can check the house of Mansara out because they do have some stunning fragrance over there. So back to the presentation. On top of the box, you have nothing going on. Under the bottom, you have the batch number and on the back of it, you have a barcode and some other ingredients information. And that's pretty much it for the presentation of the box. And as you know, typical Mansara fragrances, their presentation are amazing. They always come in this little pouch. The colors of the pouch varies from the fragrance, but this one looks really good. This is a gold looking pouch. And as I always say, it is beautiful. I love this presentation for the fragrance. And this is how the bottle of the fragrance looks, guys. Very beautiful red bottle. The bottle is red, but the juice inside is not red. So don't get that twisted, okay? It's not the juice that is red, but it is the bottle. And this one is beautiful. I love the gold accent around the front of the bottle. And under the bottom, you have the gold accent as well. And the cap, this one is a screw-on cap. So definitely you can take the bottle up from the cap and it won't fall. So this one here, guys, very beautiful. Oops, I didn't know it could do that. Well, I didn't know that, but that's good because now I know that this bottle, you can also decant the bottle as well 
So if you want to put it in, for example, let me see if I have one right here. No, I don't. But if you want to decanvas bottle, then you can put some in a small little bottle to walk around with you or to carry with you on the go. So that is good. But I'm going to try to see if I can get this top, this cap off because it's awesome. I tightened this cap too hard. That's the reason why. But it's good to know that this can come off so that I can do a decan of the fragrance and it can also be refilled. So that is a wonderful thing. The cap is gold as you can see and under the bottom you have some information, the batch number and on the front of it you have the name Mancera Paris Red Tobacco and the same thing that's on the front of the bottle, the Eau de Parfum concentration and the amount. So this bottle guys, very very beautiful bottle. On top of the cap you have their logo and this cap feels a little bit flimsy but you know it is what it is. It's a nice cap. The atomizer in this one, guys, it is broad. It distributes a good amount of juice. And I won't tighten it that much again because I don't want it to fall off. I'll just leave it like this. It won't fall. Very tight into place. So I'll tell you a little story, guys. So what I did, I went in line and I made some purchases of some Mensera fragrances because as I told you in one of my previous videos, I want to dive deeper into the house of Mancera because I realize that it is a niche house and their fragrances are not that expensive and you're getting quality fragrance for the money that you pay. So I went ahead and I purchased this one along with a few others and I'll also review those fragrances for you as well but I have to wear them and see how they perform on me so that I can tell you specifically if those fragrances are worth picking up or if you should even think about blind buying these fragrances because well let's get back to this fragrance so Mancera Red Tobacco when I first spray this fragrance on guys when I got this fragrance and I sprayed this one on I didn't like it I didn't like this fragrance one bit I say to myself that this was a waste of money and I paid $127 for this one on Fragrance X. So if you want to check this one out, you can definitely check it out on FragranceX.com. That is where I purchased this one, $127. Also, you can pick this one up on eBay. It goes from around $85 to $100 I see on eBay. But I don't really like to buy fragrance there because I don't want to run the risk of getting fake fragrances for my money so I always buy from a reputable site and Fragrance X is one of those amazing discounters. So I tell you guys when I got this fragrance and I sprayed this one on skin I didn't like this fragrance one bit. I say to myself that this was a waste of money. This fragrance smelled like cough syrup like DPH. I didn't like it one bit. So what I did I put it down for a while and then I went ahead and I revisit the fragrance and I started wearing it and the fragrance grew on me. The fragrance grew on me. So that's one thing that I always tell you my viewers and subscribers. Whenever you buy a fragrance or you receive a fragrance and you try it out and you don't like it at first spray or even the second time when you try it, don't just write it off because it doesn't smell good. Give the fragrance some time to grow and you might realize that you come to love the fragrance like I did with this one. I didn't like the opening one bit. I didn't like the fragrance. I said I waste my money but I have come to appreciate the awesomeness and the timeless masterpiece of a fragrance that this one is. This one really smelled amazing. When this fragrance dries down, that is where the beauty of the fragrance come to life. So initially when it is sprayed, this one might be off-putting because of the oud and the incense that is in the opening. But amidst that, you get a nice smelling scent of a nutmeg and the saffron and also a nice pear and apple note that is in there. So give this fragrance a little time. Just give it a little time to dry down. Give it about 15 minutes to dry down on your skin a little bit to move past that harsh opening. And then 
you will start to appreciate this fragrance more. You start smelling the warm spice of the sweet vanilla note and the cinnamon and the amber. And it has a powdery feel to it as well. So, in the opening of this fragrance, not so much a fan. But as it start, dries down on your skin a little bit, the fragrance starts smelling really, really good. So guys, Red Tobacco from the House of Mansara. This one is an excellent fragrance. Is an excellent fragrance. Once you can get past the harshness of the opening, then you will have a masterpiece of a fragrance. I'll read the notes of Fragrantica for you so that you can have an idea of the amount of notes that are in this fragrance. You have cinnamon, you have agua wood, saffron, incense, nutmeg, green apple, and white pear. That is in the top note of the fragrance. Now as it dries down to the mid, you can find patchouli and jasmine. And they rate this fragrance as a male and female fragrance. And the reason is because it do have some of the female dominant note that you can find in female fragrances. But to me and to my nose, I think this fragrance is just a masculine fragrance. But don't be deterred, ladies, because if you are confident, you can definitely rock this fragrance because this is a macho and I don't want to say match a man because a female can also wear this. But this is a dominant fragrance. So if you are bold and daring, then you can definitely wear this fragrance as a lady. And you will reap the same result that men do get when they wear this fragrance. So I'll continue with the note. In the middle of the fragrance, you have patchouli and jasmine. And as the fragrance dries down to the base, you can find tobacco, Madagascar, vanilla. You have amber, you have sandalwood, guyacwood, white moss, and Haitian vetiver. So, they say this one is a woodsy, spicy fragrance. And definitely, it is a woodsy fragrance because it has a lot of woodsy note in the fragrance. And also, the spice from the incense and the patchouli and the jasmine that give this fragrance the female edge and the nice floral aspect to it as well. But I do smell the pear in the opening and as it dries down, it becomes totally a tobacco, oud, vanilla, semi-garmandish type of a fragrance. And I tell you, when it comes on to performance with this fragrance, guys, this one is not a slouch. This fragrance works magic. This fragrance performs like a beast. When I spray this one on my skin, and I want to show you guys, look at the oil. A lot of oil in this fragrance, not much alcohol. It doesn't smell synthetic, even though I think the oud that is in this fragrance is a synthetic oud, but it does smell really freaking good. Performance, amazing, guys. I get... 12 plus hours with this fragrance every time that I wear this fragrance guys So imagine spraying this fragrance on your clothes. I did it. I sprayed this on my shirt Four days later. I revisit the shirt and the fragrance is still strong 50% like I just sprayed it today. That is how potent this fragrance is it lasts and Be smooth That is what I want to say for this fragrance it is a beastly performing fragrance so red tobacco very good tobacco fragrance from the house of mansara performance is excellent easy 10 out of 10 with performance with this fragrance this fragrance easily fill a room you spray this fragrance right here and instantly the whole place smell like tobacco and you leave the house and you come back 12 hours later and the whole place still smell like this fragrance. This is a beast mood performing of a fragrance. And when it comes down to versatility of this fragrance, guys, this one is not for the summer days. You don't wear this fragrance casually. I see this one as a business 
class type of a fragrance. When you're going to a business meeting, when you're going to an upscale event and you want to smell rich and sophisticated and elegant, then you take this one out. If you're hanging out with your friends at a bar and you know you're going to smoke a few cigars, then definitely you want to wear this fragrance because it adds to the ambiance or the setting that you're going to be in. And it's not for the young at heart. This one is for the mature guys, 30 and upward. Wrap this fragrance with confident and you will definitely get compliment. In my testing phase with this fragrance, I wore this one to a supermarket to get a jug of milk. While I was there, I saw a gentleman and two young ladies. So they walked past me. One of the young ladies stopped. She turned back. She came to me. She said, you smell really good. The gentleman stopped also, turned back, came to me and she said, yes, you smelled really good. I smell you from, I was passing. What's the name of the fragrance you're wearing? So I said, it's Red Tobacco from Mencera. He said, where did you make purchase of it? I said, I bought it online. And then he said, well, I'm not going to be able to get it. So I didn't ask him why, but then he said, you must get all the girls. And I said, not really. And there was another guy that was standing there doing his own thing. Then he said, well, at least you're honest. <laughs> so then the gentleman said, he said, well, you have to also speak. So you're not going to get the girls with just the scent. You must also use words. And I was like, okay. So then I started thinking. I was wondering that maybe he wanted me to hit on the girls. Maybe one of the girls... You know, our both girls were his daughters. I don't know. But anyway, that was just an experience I had wearing this fragrance. And I tell you, it smelled really good. So guys, this one here, it is not for the faint-hearted. It is for a brave, masculine, macho guy that is dominant. And this one is sophistication at its best. Compliment, you will get compliment whenever you wear this fragrance. Don't, don't spray this fragrance on right away and then you go into a crowd of people expecting that you're going to get compliment because you're not going to get compliment. More than likely, the opening of this fragrance is going to put off a lot of people because the opening, it is harsh. It is rugged. It is too masculine. It is too macho, the opening of this fragrance. So let it simmer down for a while. Let the fragrance rest on your skin 15, 20 minutes. And then the awesomeness of the art of this fragrance start comes to life. And then this fragrance will be more appreciated by the masses. So gentlemen, red tobacco from Mancera. This one is an awesome, timeless masterpiece of a fragrance that came out in 2017. And it is still relevant to this day. It is the best tobacco scent that I've ever smelled. And I've smelled a few. But so far, this one is the best that I've ever smelled. And the performance on this fragrance, it is through the roof. Just look at the bottle. This one will look beautiful just sitting on your shelf. And based on the potency of this fragrance, it should last you a very long time because you don't need more than two to three sprays of this fragrance at any given time because of how strong this fragrance is and the projection is great and the siage when it lingers in the air. Is just wonderful. This one leaves a nice scent trail behind you. If you want a wonderful fragrance from the house of Mancera that will get the job done and perform beastly, Red Tobacco is your fragrance. If you have ever tried this fragrance, guys, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know how it performs for you. And if you're thinking about doing so, don't blind buy this fragrance though. See if you can try it out first before you make a purchase. So, this was my take on 
red tobacco from Ensera. This is a really great fragrance with very good projection and it is an awesome performing fragrance that must be worn in the colder days and the night out whenever you're going to a sophisticated, elegant meeting or casual dressing but in a sophisticated way, if you know what I mean. Try this one out, guys. Red Tobacco from the House of Mancera. It is a very good performing, beastly fragrance. So, if you have taken anything of interest from this video, guys, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, drop a like on the video, and turn on your notifications so that you will be updated whenever I upload a video and you can come and rock with your boy. So thank you for watching my videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace out. Ciao.